Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijutail Beading and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make these rondelles and bicons elegant earrings. They're easy to make, they're like a beginner's level tutorial and I'm showing step by step so I'm sure you're going to be able to make them by yourself. If you worry that you don't have the supplies down there in the description, I have links where you could buy supplies from. If you want to support me, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button. And in this way, you will be notified for my absolutely free content that I post two times a week. And you will be able to make beautiful sets because I sometimes I make matching jewelry to the ones that I have already done. And you will be able to make those beautiful sets for presents or for yourself. And you could also check description for fast clip of this video where I on, in on only two three minutes you could see the idea on my second channel bijoutel fast clips and you could also decide to subscribe there for inspiration and just watch these fast videos where from a bunch of beads in just two three minutes a jewelry is formed what you could also find down there in the description is full list of materials links where you could buy supplies from link to my store and link for paypal donations to develop this channel Thank you so much for watching. Now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using for this video are 11 ounce seed beads in silver color. Here I use faceted crystals also called rondelle. They are 4 by 6 millimeters and I use 16 of them for a pair of earrings. And here I use 8 8 millimeter beads. Uh, these are bicons. Uh, here I use silver lever bags. This is monofilm and that is 0.006 inches or 0.15 millimeters. You could use other beading thread of your choice. This is size 10 beading needle scissors and I use pliers but they are not obligatory. I use them only if I need to go through the difficult beads. Okay guys and now I'm going to take about half an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay and what I'm going to take here is a bicon, then another bicon, then I'm going to take a seed bead, a crystal, a seed bead, a crystal and a seed bead, okay. Now guys, this is what I have on my needle here and I'm going to slide those down. Okay, and here I'm going to stick my needle in my mat and what I want to do is make a knot and I'm making my knot by making a loop going twice through this loop I've made and I pull and then what I do is that I make one more knot just to be sure that it's all secure okay now guys in my next step what I want to do is go in my following bicon and what I want to take this time is one bicon, a silver, a crystal, a silver, a crystal and a silver. Okay, this is what I have on my needle. And I'm going back in circle through this bicon. Okay, now I have this. Okay, now in my next step, I'm going through this bicon, through the following bicon. And since here at the edge are my crystal, I'm going to start by picking up crystals and I'm taking a seed bead, a crystal, a seed bead, a crystal, a seed bead, and then I'm taking the bicon. Okay, this is what I have. And I'm going back here through this bicon. Okay. Now I have the same thing. I have the same sequence of beads. Just somewhere I add less beads because my loops of elements share beads. Okay. Now what I do is that I go in this direction and this time guys 
I have my two bicons already added and I'm going to connect them. Okay, I'm going through those two bicons like this. And here at the edge, I miss crystals. That is why I'm going to add a seed bead, a crystal, a seed bead, a crystal, and a seed bead. Okay, this is what I have on my needle. And I will go back here through this crystal. Okay, just like this. And now I'm going here through this bicon. And I have this. What I want to do next, guys, is add one bead here at the center of my work. And in order to do this, I want to go in some of my bicons, in one of my bicons. Okay, let's say I'm going here through this bicon from the outside edge to the center. Okay, I repositioned my thread because I wanted to exit here and now I'm going to take just one seed bead and what I want to do is that I go through this bicon okay and now I have this okay guys and as I'm exiting here what I want to do next is go through this silver and I'm going to take three silvers just like this and what I do is that I go back in circle through these two beads and I pull. Now I have this. Then I'm going through the following crystal rondelle and through the seed bead after that. And what I need to add here are three silver beads and I'm going back here in circle forming a cross forming a cross of four beads okay now i have a cross of four also called right angle width and with in one movement i went to through those two beads as well it's not obligatory to do this in one movement but i did it this way okay and i'm taking three beads and I'm going back in circle through these two, just like this. Then I go through the crystal and through the following seed bead. And I'm taking three beads, just like this. Go back in circle through this one. Okay. Forming a cross of four. And I'm going to continue this until the end of this row. Okay guys, and with this I finish this row. Okay, and what I want to do in my next step is go through this silver here, just like this. Take four beads, okay, and go in this bead here, and pull. Then go through the one in the middle, like this. and through the one that's coming up next and then take four beads again okay four and go here in the following seed bead and if you can also go through the one that's in the middle between the crystals and then go in the following okay four beads and do this okay four again 
go here like this go through the following and then in this one okay guys and continue this until the end of this row and when i'm ready i'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and here i am where i'm adding my last four beads from this row and you see what i have now and what i want to do next is go here through some beads in this direction and here i'm going to add my ear wire okay and i'm adding it by going here in the middle through this bead i'm taking my ear wire and I'm taking one seed bead, my ear wire, and then one more seed bead. Okay, this is what I have. And I'm going back here through this bead. And what I do next is that I reinforce. Okay, and I'm reinforcing it by going several times around it. Okay guys, and when I went several times around this loop here, what I want to do next is find a place to make a knot. And let's say I'm making it here at the edge. And I will do this by making here a loop going once, going second time through this loop I've made. I make sure I'm between those two beads where I started my knot from. Then I might want to repeat this knot several more times and when I'm ready I go through the following seed bead and then I cut my thread as close as possible to my work. And now my elegant crystals and bicons earring is ready. Okay guys and now my rondelles and bicons elegant earrings are ready so if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell and in this way you will be notified when I have new videos two times a week absolutely free for new inspiration. You could also like share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action and if you make beautiful jewelry following my tutorials please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creation and down there in description you will find a fast clip of this video where you could see it in only two three minutes and decide if you feel like making it or not you will see their full list of materials link to my store and link for paypal donations to develop this channel and you could might also decide to subscribe for my second channel bijoutel fast clips where i show fast previews of all of my videos thank you so much for watching bye bye from me